So the nice thing about this interface is that we can drag and drop complex blocks uh, that are easy for people to use. So here we have a block that reads a sensor and outputs its value. And then the turn on and range looks at the value and decides whether or not to turn on a pin. I can enter a username and a file name and save my work. I can also load uh, work that I've saved previously. And uh, this uses, uses a cute web service called Parse. Um, so here we can see that I'm now going to be looking at pin 0. And depending on the range, turn on pin 8. And also looking at pin 0, uh, I might turn on pin 9. So technically, from a parallel safety perspective, we might not like that. But that's something that students are definitely going to do if given this tool. Um, my particular Arduino is rather old. I'm not sure that the, I, I might need to add a capacitor for reset, I'm not sure. Um, so we can hit run and the structure is sent to a little server running on the, the machine and it handles compilation and upload. And here you can see as I uh, turn my variable resistor that the analog reading that we're taking from pin 0 changes, it crosses the threshold, and it turns on either pin 8 or pin 9, uh, where I have a red and a green LED. Um, we can easily create blocks, write the back-end code, and it just works.